It's right here on this short. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, that's what I love. There he is, way out there. A lot of sailfish here today. Coming up. What do you think they're going to be uh, fishing for today? We'll look for tuna. It's uh -huh. a little far away. That's why you have to go early. OK. Uh, yeah. The weather's perfect. Yeah, the weather is. Look at all this room on the boat. Today's mission, to catch and release as many sailfish as possible, and hopefully get into some delicious mahi and yellowfin tuna for me and the crew. Captain Jimmy has us on course about 35 miles out in hopes of getting into the sailfish bite right away. There he is. I'm on tight. Jimmy, you parked on him. You put the boat right on him. First baits in the water, a double header sail. They're swimming together, they're friends. He's got this one here, look at this guy. Woo! Mine's wagging right here. Nice, coming up again. I love today. <laughs> This guy's working me hard. Being true to the conservation efforts put forth by Inguat and the fisheries department, this crew wastes no time in releasing these sails. Nice fish. It's a great feeling to know that this fish was unharmed and will live to fight another day. Nice job, man. Come on, man. First one, second one, first one, second one. Woo! That was awesome. Good job, Jimmy. We ran 35 miles offshore and literally parked on the fish. We hooked up with a double header the second we deployed the baits. It was pure adrenaline. It's exciting, very exciting. He's right here on this short. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, that's what I love. There he is, way out there. A lot of sailfish here today. Coming up. Coming up again. Within the course of an hour, we caught and released nice. 10 sails. The bite was epic, to say the least. And that's when Captain Jimmy said, you know what? It's time to break out the fly rod because the bite is on fire right now. Too good. I haven't done this in 28 years. That takes teamwork, man. Good job. Only because I'm fishing with the best out here, right? When you use this type of tackle, you have to wind really quickly, and you've got to try to protect your knuckles because the reel has no anti-reverse. They call it the knuckle breaker. He's jumping. You also have to employ a lot of hand-eye coordination. It's so cool to get tight on a sailfish, but to do it on fly, it's even more rewarding. About to get the leader on this. When that red touches the tip, I got a sail on fly. Woo! I got a sail on fly. Look at the fly in his mouth, dude. That is so sick. I'm pumped, man. Getting the fly now. Man, what a day. I lost count of sailfish in the teens. And now to get a sail on fly is just, yeah, sick. Very cool, man. Thank you. That's too easy. You make it too easy. Excellent. I mean, come on. Nice job. Thank you, man. The Pacific Fins crew and I continue our stellar day of fishing in the calm Pacific waters off the Guatemalan coast. Now, our target species are mahi-mahi and yellowfin tuna. 
We're hoping to spot the large pods of spinner dolphin which hold big concentrations of tuna on their perimeter. We got Niles Miller in the house, catching a mahi in Guatemala. My son is currently studying at USC in LA. Until this moment, he's been behind the scenes, working on the production of the show. But now, he's on set, ready to fight fish, alongside his very proud dad. Nice. That's a nice one, Niles. Yes. Nice one, man. Woo! Niles Miller's on the board. Once we got into the mahi-mahi, it just kept getting better and better. We got twins. Oh! As a fisherman, you always need to be ready to react quickly. It's a game of inches. Every second counts. That's called high-impact fishing. Because of their vibrant coloring, high-speed runs, acrobatic jumps, it's easy to see why mahi are so much fun to target. Nice. This guy was hanging out with his two girlfriends, decided to have a little ballyhoo uh, bonanza, and they ate him. So now I'm gonna grab one of the females and show you the head difference. You see the female head is rounded off, and the male head is squared off. So we got the male and the female. With all these mahi in the boat, a sailfish on fly, I consider this a phenomenal fishing day. But just as I was thinking that, the right long popped out and it was a monster mahi. Oh man, this is a backbreaker. This is the big boy. Look at the size of this fish, guys. 35 pounds. Whoa! In the age of social media, it's always nice to have great photos of your adventures. So you know, you're gonna find this exact photo on my Instagram page. That's a slammer. Look at the size of his head. We're using live bonita for bait. And you can see their mouths aren't that big. So it's pretty remarkable that he swallowed that because it was about a six pound fish. As we turn the boat towards home, lunch is served. Fresh grilled mahi. And simultaneously, we are greeted by thousands of spinner dolphin showing off their moves. As much as we're in awe of their synchronized launches and spins, we knew that it was time to go after the elephant tuna. Tuna stay close to these pods, picking up the scraps left behind by the spinner dolphin. Three tunas with the spinners jumping all into us. This is like Jurassic Park. <laughs> Look at them, man, this is unbelievable. Guatemalan yellowfin coming in. Even though they're not trophy sized by any means, it's rare for me to have the opportunity to catch this specific tuna one of my favorite eating fish. Oh my God, we're gonna have some sashimi. This is the best day ever. You see this? Yes. Yes. So now we gotta keep up with the dolphin. I'm on. Double header. When you're in a pot of dolphin catching tuna, you need to bring them in fast in order to stay with the tuna, which shadow the dolphin. Yellowfin tuna. Bad. Hey, Niles, you want to come catch a tuna? They're all over the place, dude. We're on the perimeter right now. We should get a bite any second. There it is. You're going to get a bite in a second. All right, double up. That couldn't have been coordinated any better. Nope. <laughs> Switch holders. Hey, Niles, first yellowfin tuna. Woo! That's a chunky monkey. Good job, man. Ridiculous. Good job, Captain. Way to go. The Maverick strikes again. People ask me all the time if I eat raw fish. So, here's your answer. There's nothing better than fresh yellowfin tuna straight out of the ocean.